in today's video. The tools you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket, a spark plug socket, a stander for your ratchet you're gonna use. I got a torque wrench. Then right here I have a extra socket, extender, and a breaker bar for your old spark plus in case it does not want to come out. Besides for the spark plug, it is a 16 millimeter. And right here is uh, the spark plugs you're going to use for your car. The spark plug I'm using today is the NGK Laser Iridium Cleanium. The part number is 7994. Additional tools you're going to need is a 10 inch millimeter socket, a standard that will both fit your inch pound torque wrench, and then you're going to need a plier. And an air spray can for blowing dust and debris out of your spark plug well. The first thing is pull your hood lever, push up the lever, pull up the hood, pull up your lash, set it right here to keep your hood up. First thing I'm gonna do today is unplug these two initial core connector. Just push this click down and pull. The connectors come off. To have an easier time pulling this connector out, just undo this, pull it out. You take a plier, click this side, click this side, and it will push out. get this spark plug cable out you unplug this first and this pull on this rubber part and it should come out same go with this spark plug cable right here unplug this pull it out you will notice that this spark plug right here is longer and this spark plug right here is shorter don't get it mixed up when you're reinstalling it don't pull on the cable when you're unplugging this take it flat pry it off Kind of twist and put this off. To take out these two core plug off, we will take these two bolt on each core off. Should come off. Take an air spray and spray out any debris or dirt that is still in the wells. Next, you take off your spark plug. I'm going to loosen it with the breaker bar. With the extender and a spark plug remover, take out your spark plug.
if you don't have a spark plug remover once you loosen up the spark plug and it's loose in there take your cord plug it in it should get in grab onto the spark plug and you can pull it out as you can see I'm not using anti siege on my spark plug for two things one I can't find anywhere on the service manual to use anti siege on a spark plug and two on the actual website for the spark plug NGK they say uh, they put a silver coat on there that act as the same thing so they don't recommend it you might over torque it first thing you do is you just hand tie in With all your spark plug in place, now you're ready to torque them down. With your foot pound torque wrench, you set it to 19 plus or minus 3 foot pound. Hear that click? With your spark plug torqued down, you're ready to put it on your initial core. You just plug it in. Remember the connector is facing that direction for this one. Remember these bolts do need to be torqued down for the plug. I'm just going to slightly hand tighten it. For the two bolt on these core, you're moving down to inch pound now. The torque spec inch pound for this is 89 plus or minus inch pound. Now that we're working with inch pound, it don't take much to torque it. Remember this quote, the connector is facing that direction. Now you're ready to put in your spark plug cable, the short one anyway. You put it into the third cylinder right here. Plug all the way in and you will plug this to this initial core right here. Then you're ready to plug in the long spark plug cable and go to cylinder one. Then this part will plug into right here. Then remember to plug in your connector. I got one right here. Since I took off this harness, just plug it back on. And remember this connector, plug it in. You're pretty much done right here. Before you close your hood, start the car, see if it runs fine and it don't stutter. There seem to be no problem, so I'm good to go. Take off your lash. Wear everything out of the way, you can close the hood now. With the hood closed, 
Now you can take it for a drive, see how your car runs. Click that like button if you found this video useful and subscribe for future update. And thanks again for watching.